Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I'm the author of the Young Adult Novel Essence and historical fantasy novel I Am Mercy, and today we're going to be talking about why ebooks are evil. So, I don't have an e reader for many reasons, so today I'm just going to use my phone, which can also be used as an e reader, to compare it to this lovely little paperback. First of all, let's talk about how books have a very distinct smell. It's just very nice. Like when you open a book, it just, it smells like paper, which is very great for bookworms. Phones or your e-reader, they smell like nothing. And sometimes there's a glare on the screen and, and sometimes there's a small screen. Like if you don't have an e-reader like I do, if, if you need to read an e-book, this is all you got. You got just a phone or a tablet. Let's also talk about the fact that an ebook can be just as expensive as a paperback. Now, my ebooks, I believe, are like $2.99, which is a great deal for ebooks. Like, if you aren't sure if you're gonna like Essence, um, which I, I highly doubt, it's a great book, um, you can just buy it for $2.99 as an ebook. But for like Harry Potter and like Twilight and all those big name ones, or most big name ones, they're still like $10. $10 for a virtual version of the book. I much rather spend the like $10 on this lovely, lovely version that I can like pet and like feel the pages and, and just like scribble in. Like you can write notes now with an e-reader. Like you can click on the little word and and you can write notes, you can highlight things, you can look up definitions, which is great. But it's just not the same as like thumbing through a book and like seeing all this great little doodling. I have a Shakespeare book that's like scribbled all over and it's great because I, I don't know Elizabethan so I always have to like end up writing in the margins <laughs> like what is actually going on in the play because I don't know what the heck is going on so I go like line by line trying to like translate Elizabethan even though it's technically English. And when you do that it shows that your book is loved. When you do it for an ebook, you don't see those notes until you like click on it or something. I don't really know because I don't use e-readers. One of my favorite parts of a book is that you can feel how far you are into a book. Like when you first start reading a book, you like got all this, all this heftiness. And then as you get farther, you're like, oh my god, I only have like these many pages. Like I like feeling the pages in between my fingers and feeling how much is left. Um, an ebook is just like, oh, you're on page blah 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 out of a thousand blah 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 and that means nothing to me even you know it has the thing where it'll be like oh you're 60 percent of the way through like i know in my head that means more than halfway but i'm always wondering like okay what is the thickness i have left then am i the only one who thinks that way when they read books they they think thickness wise like oh i only have like a finger's width to go and then i'm done the book is that weird that's that's weird Ebooks, you can't show off when you are reading a giant book. You just have your little e-reader. But real books, if I'm reading a big book, like this book is, this book is 725 pages. If people see me walking around with this, they're gonna be like, oh my God, is she reading the Bible or the dictionary? And I'll be like, no, I'm reading City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. I mean, I know travel-wise it's a lot easier to carry this around than this, but this has like the bragging factor. I mean that's why I think ebooks are evil. I just don't like them, but I guess they can stick around because I can fit thousands of books on this and I don't have a lot of room for a thousand books on these shelves. Anyways, let me know your opinion on ebooks. I think they're evil. Maybe you love them. I, I never buy ebooks. I only ever read them when they're free. And even then, I would rather just buy the book. Anyways, thank you for watching. Be sure to comment down below, give the video a thumbs up, and subscribe.